Moving on now to 60 Minutes, where getting a scoop is all about the simple questions. Who, what, when, where, why and how much for a kidnap? The Channel 9 crew has arrived back in Sydney after being detained for two weeks in Lebanon over that botched child recovery operation. They are being questioned over a bank statement which shows the TV network directly paid $69,000 to the Beirut kidnap team. So there is still money in journalism, it's just going to child abduction specialists. <laughs> The 60 Minutes crew's release was a huge relief for Nine. What would they have done without Tara Brown, their star interviewer of politicians, royalty, and let's not forget illness inventor Belle Gibson? It's all a lie, a great big lie. She doesn't have cancer, never did. I thought that I did, and I was feeling well. Yes, but even then you misrepresented what you thought was your truth, which was all a big lie. Anyway, I'm really sorry. Belle, Belle. L, please. BAM! <laughs> Tara Brown won, girl with fake cancer, zero. <laughs> After weeks of this ongoing saga, 60 Minutes finally got their chance to tackle the controversy. We've been limited in what we could say about Australian mum Sally Faulkner and our crew detained in Beirut. Yes, like the Lebanese prison, 60 Minutes had been keeping mum. <laughs> Until now. There's one thing we want to state very clearly from the outset. We made mistakes. Uh, you did, Michael. To quote the 60 Minutes theme tune... <laughs> but that... That did not stop 60 Minutes cameras being there to catch Sally Faulkner's homecoming. It was a huge relief for Sally's mum, Karen, to see her daughter again. And a huge relief for Nine, who managed to reunite at least one mother with her daughter without everyone ending up in prison. <laughs> yes, finally, the ordeal was over. There was real relief when our team returned to their families. Cameraman Ben Williamson. Sound recordist David Tangles Balmond. Producer Stephen Rice. And, of course, Tara. It's good to see you. Thank you. What? <laughs> Hang on, the crew get met by family members and she gets bloody Michael from work. <laughs> so what went wrong, Michael from work? The story we set out to cover was a mission to retrieve Sally's two older children, daughter Layella and son Noah. It was a failure which ended very badly for everyone involved. Well, it didn't end so badly for the dad, Ali El Amin. He got his kids and a reported half a mil. Now, if that's true, it makes him one of the highest paid personalities at Channel 9. <laughs> Next, they might cast him in House Husbands just to get their money's worth. <laughs> and according to The Australian, the only reason Lebanese police were even tipped off was because 60 Minutes wanted to stage one last shot with Sally Faulkner on the streets of Beirut calling the children's father. That call was traced, and the rest, as they say, is exclusive to Nine. <laughs> the only thing left now is for Michael to ask Tara the tough questions. The tragedy of it is, is that Sally is probably in a worse situation than she was before trying all of this. Well, not really a question, but it is a cutting statement of fact. Uh, Tara? I've spent two weeks with Sally. Um... In, well, you know, on and off in cell, in cells, and you know we've spent quite a bit of time together. And um, but always, I'm just you know so amazed at how she's held up and uh, and how strong she's been because ultimately she's lost everything. You know she's lost her babies, and um, and you know I've been completely um, in awe of how she's coped with that. Yeah, given that Nine got her into this mess, I'm in awe of Sally for not shiving Tara in the prison shower. <laughs> but, Michael, what are you going to do about restoring the integrity of 60 Minutes? Our role in reporting Sally's desperate efforts to be reunited with Layella and Noah are now the subject of a lot of soul-searching here at Channel 9. As yet, no souls have been found. <laughs> But will we ever know the full story? Really, there is only one journalist who could get to the bottom of this. One Walkley-winning titan of truth who places a premium on straight talk and common sense. There is only one person who could crack Tara Brown. Tonight, a 60 Minutes exclusive. Tara Brown, interviewed by Tara Brown. <laughs> you know, I think when we presented ourselves, um, 
and we were being questioned, I, I really thought, you know, we're journalists, we're doing our job. Really? Well, you know, I've spent two weeks with Sally. Well, some of them want you to go to jail. That's how they feel. We are here just to, to do a story on a very, very desperate mother. You kind of were playing in a grown-up's world without realising it. <laughs> and you accept that your reality does not actually match reality. <laughs> I just thought that reason would prevail, and it didn't. OK, thank you.